latest episode of uh, Last Minute Living. We got a little surprise for you. We are back in sunny Broome. 32 degrees all week. It's gonna be an absolute ripper week. I'm up here for eight days. I got my auntie and my uncle up here. Uh, you would have seen in the last um, couple Broome episodes. So we're back here. It's my turn to have a little bit of fun. Hopefully I can get a bit more luck than my dad did. Um, so first day on the cards, flew in yesterday taking the boat out so um yeah it's gonna be high tide coming up soon uh we've been told by someone that it's a good time to go when the tide's going out so we're gonna throw the boat in anyway and hopefully we'll get a bit of luck and get onto some fish yeah we'll see how we go and let's put the boat in hours on the water now it's not quite the right time yet we thought we'd come out a bit earlier um, just doing some exploring down there some little little creeks around and um, yeah we caught one catfish I caught a Norwest blowy but um, didn't get in the boat so it doesn't count not that you'd want to count it anyway um, but yeah we got a little bit more time and then um, hopefully should be time for a barra There it is, not a very successful day in the water, was it Gaz? No, but disappointing. Disappointing, but you get that. Called fishing for a reason. You were catching them every time they'd call it catching, so. Um, we're about to pack it in. It's been quite some time on the water, probably a good four or five hours, but you can't argue with these conditions. It's flat as it comes, pretty amazing. So um, either way, it's still a good day in the water. We're gonna pack it in and um, yeah, get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be a big day. Then we've got a big weekend planned, so um, we'll see how we go. We'll see you on shore. Broome is, uh, they got some massive tidal changes. Uh, second largest in the world actually, uh, second to Canada. But they have 17 meter um, changes. Ours are about 10. So you can see this is where we launched the boat uh, earlier today. There's a lot of beach there. Now there's almost none. So massive difference between uh, high and low tides. Pretty amazing, but um, that's what gets all your tourists stuck. and see all those cars underwater in uh, on Facebook and things like that people just don't know when the tides are coming in and catches them off guard and say goodbye to your car just like that all right welcome back guys day two um, we're going out for a camp tonight uh, it's pretty humid at the moment it's very very sticky uh, it's gonna be another hot one mid 30s um, but we're heading out packing the boat taking it with us so um, yeah little boys trip hopefully we can catch some fish on the land and we didn't catch anything in the water but uh yeah we'll keep trying that's, uh, that's the way it goes so we'll take you down there we'll show you a bit of um bit of landscape around there get the drones up hopefully that'll be wicked um yeah and show you a little bit of uh sort of just outside of broom i think we're taking a bit of a trek out so um we'll fill you in on the way
we've just trekked about an hour or so out of Broome. Um, we headed north. Uh, we're down here by the Fitzroy River. Uh, most of you will probably know that's Croc territory. Um, but hey, suppose we'll do what we can. Um, gonna see some different places. So we've uh, we've just launched the boat in now. Um, no dramas here. We're gonna do an overnight camp. Uh, plenty of cows, plenty of wildlife. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna jump on the boat. Uh, we've got some bait on board. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can catch some fish because that's what we're aiming to do so yeah we'll um jump on the boat for a couple hours it's one o'clock now so uh we'll jump on on the boat for a couple of hours and um we'll see what we can catch if not we're going to stay here overnight uh, we'll set up camp we'll have a bit of a cook up and we'll uh show you if we catch some fish maybe we'll cook them up uh, but until then we'll get on the boat and um yeah we'll see how we go Yep, so big day on the water. Again, no fish. That's why I don't fish. Uh, so we just set up camp. Got two stretcher beds. Have a bit of a cook up in a minute. It's a bloody nice sunset. Sleeping under the stars. How good is that? Doesn't get any better. We'll see you in the morning and hopefully we can get on the end of some big fish. All right, so we've just made it uh, about 7.30. Um, we're thinking about pulling the pin because we are getting absolutely smashed by bugs. I don't know if you can see this. So uh, you can't say we didn't try. Um, I'm gonna take you over the lights here and see what we're dealing with. I don't know if you can see that there, but there is a lot of bugs. Well, there's a lot flying around my face too. Um, so you get that, another last minute living failure or attempt i don't know what you want to call it but um they don't always go to plan we're really not going to get much of a sleep so um we're going to attempt to pack everything up in the night and um we're going to hit tracks and and head home and we'll find something else to do tomorrow we might um hit the water or we'll we'll see what we do so yeah, we're going to pack up and we'll we'll hit the road all right guys uh morning after our late little debacle out on the river uh, we shot home we got back probably about 11 30 uh, so it's pretty late but honestly those bugs were pretty full on we didn't want to waste a day so we thought we'd come back and get a good night's sleep um, but today we thought we'd come down to the beach uh, just have a little bit of a look around now I don't know about you but I'm gonna say something a little bit controversial now um, if you come in a broom I'll be honest I don't think Cable Beach is the best beach that you can find. Um, pretty much any beach that I've been to outside of Broome has been oh, 10 times better by a landslide. But this beach is not that far out of Broome. It's pretty bloody amazing. Um, not a soul on the beach, which is great. But what you don't know is um, over here at low tide, down at these rocks here. Um, the beach is called Coconut Wells and the reason it's called that is because when the tide's out, it's got these little these little pools that are just through the rocks. So occasionally you see something cool, so we'll do my best. I'll, 
I'll try and have a look, bit of a look around and see if I can find anything interesting worth showing you. And um, yeah, hopefully I get some luck. But if not, uh, yeah, enjoy this beach. There's plenty going on here. There's no one here. It's great. It is guys uh, we tried our best oh look I happen to find myself must be a little bit camera shy come on little buddy all right let's try again after we were rudely interrupted by that little hermit crab um, yeah so that's been broom we only spent three days here for this episode um, there's plenty of things to check out in Broome. Uh, what we're going to do is the next five days we've got plenty of action planned. Hopefully we can get onto a fish because clearly I'm not a good fisherman. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed everyone. Um, sighing off from this beautiful beach down in Broome. Um, as I said, I believe it's better than Cable Beach. I believe a lot of the beaches around here are. Um, so if you do get the chance to come up to Broome, don't forget there's plenty of places you can get around here. Uh, most of them are four-wheel drive uh, accessible, so if you are planning to come out, make sure you get a four-wheel drive, bring a friend, things like that. Don't let the tides catch you out because they do rise really quickly. Um, but until then, we'll see you on the next episode. Catch you later.